Hi class, it's Mrs. Lawson. We're going to be looking at some shapes today, at some geometric solids. Now we looked at some a week or two ago, and I wonder if you remember them. What about this one? It has a broader base and then goes really pointy at the top. You're right, it's called a cone. What about this one? It looks like a ball, but the math word for it isn't ball, it's sphere. And we can cut one right in half, and we would call it half of a sphere. Well, we're going to look at some new geometric solids today. And I wonder if you already know their names. Here's one. Do you know what it's called? It looks like a block. We call it a cube. It's square, but it's solid. It's three-dimensional. So we call it a cube. I have one more for you. It is this one. Do you know what it's called? It's kind of circular on the end and then goes up like this. We call this a cylinder. I want us to take a look at some other cubes and cylinders. Let's take a closer look. Class, I have some very fun things here that are cubes or cylinders. And today, I want you to go on a cube and cylinder hunt around your house and see if you can find some fun things that are these shapes as well. Let's take a look at this fun thing. I made a cube out of straws and connectors. Do you have any toys at home that you can use to make a cube? I had fun making this one. It has a base and all of the sides that are square and it's three dimensional. That means it is a cube. I also found some other fun toys some blocks that are cubes. Do you think that you could find some cubes at home? Let's see, I found lots of cylinders. That was really an easy shape to find. I just had to go into my kitchen cupboard. Guess what? A lot of the cans that you might have in your kitchen cupboard, they're cylinders. They have a circular top and base and a flat side all the way around. That's a cylinder. I have lots of them. I even made a little pyramid out of cylinders. Can you think of some other things in your house that might be cylinders? I found some over in our art corner. All of our markers are cylinders. They have a circular top and base and a flat side all the way around connecting them. They're cylinders. And then these are always fun to play with. I found some cardboard tubes. Sometimes we call cylinders tubes. And they also are the same shape. Do you remember the last time that we looked at three-dimensional shapes when we looked at cones, we learned how to make a cone. If you don't remember that video, I'm going to link it down in the description so that you can review it and know how to make a cone. What we did was we made a circle out of paper and we cut it into the middle and we put one side of the flap over top of the other and we turned it around until we made a cone the size that we wanted it to be. And you can tape it together or glue it together. I'm going to use a paper clip for right now. And we made some cones. Do you think that you'd be able to make a cylinder today? or that you'd be able to find some cardboard cylinders. I made a cylinder and it's hiding. Look, oh, 
I just took a piece of paper and I rolled it up to make a cylinder. Today, you can do a couple of different things. You can look around your house and go on a shape hunt and see if you can find some cylinders and if you can find some cubes. But also, I think it would be so much fun for you to use and make some shapes and see, oh, it fell, and see if you can make something out of cubes, cylinders, and cones. What a fun little castle you could make with all of these shapes. Oh class, I hope that you have an amazing time today playing with three-dimensional shapes with your cylinders, your cones, your cubes, and maybe even some spheres. They're a little harder to build with, but half a sphere would be easier to build with. I would love to see some of your creations. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.